I'm thinking about doing a new video on 3D printing. What is the topic? Oh, I think it should be a top 10 video. No. Uh, a top five? No. Fine. Here are some interesting projects for your printer in no particular order. Happy? Better. First one, some bed leveling or bed calibration files. Having a bed calibration file isn't fancy or fun, but it can help with making quality prints with everything else that's on the list. It's no good making a print for six hours if it's not level and next thing you get is a growing spaghetti monster. I'd say just having calibration file or bed leveling file that you like, you're gonna be using it fairly frequently anyways. Download one, try it, find one that you like. Next one also goes with something that is useful for the printer. I decided to get a filament guide. This one in particular just mounts to the stand that holds the filament. It has a little guide, keeps it at a distance, keeps it out of the way. I actually had trouble finding it. I searched both Thingiverse, Colts. I tried the search engine that they now have on Things. I haven't been able to find the exact file online to post a link for but this is the one that I use. It helps guide it whether the Z axis is all the way down, all the way up, stays out of the way. I've had zero issues with it. Next one that, that I use that actually helps with my printer are these little stitch figures. I've started printing this particular stitch figure for every color filament that I have. You know, there's benchies, there's things that can test how the filament's gonna be. I decided that to make it more interesting, I will print this simple stitch figure. Once I have it dialed in, I can see how the filament reacts. And I also keep each one as a little collectible. I like the design and I'm a fan of stitch. So there. Another one is this SD card case. This one I found on Thingiverse here. It's a print in place. So you print it all one piece. The hinge is connected. You snap and fold it closed and you end up with a hinged uh, two-piece carrying case. It's pretty cool. Just because I wanted to be a little more particular, I actually have the SD cards labeled for various projects like this you can see here. So I have a few extra empty ones, especially with the ender where it will sometimes stop reading cards and so it's good to have a few spares available. Some other things I've printed, you can do these part bins. You can find files for these. These come in various sizes, various shapes. These particular ones I'm using, you'll see that I use these larger black ones for the tools. They're right underneath my laptop. I can have larger tools that I use for the printer, scrapers, screwdrivers, whatever I need, I can have right there. I have smaller ones I can use for keeping individual screws, jump drives, individual small projects, small little pieces that I wanna use or possibly use later. I have those right easily accessible on the desk. Some other interesting projects to, to do. Print your own custom items. Try printing some unique items that will help you with a specific task. Some examples I've made just in the beginning, I've done things like this microphone adapter. It helped the microphone that I want, that I'm currently using, didn't fit the shock mount that the boom arm I got came with. So instead of either getting a new arm, new mount, new microphone, I decided to print a little adapter. I made a couple iterations, a couple tests, Found one that seems to work okay, and that's what I'm using right now. So when you're printing, there's nothing wrong with jumping in and printing things on your own and starting to print things that's one specific use case. You learn how to mess with a, a modeling tool, Tinkercad, Fusion 360, whatever you want to use. Just start messing with it, start learning. Filament is fairly cheap. You know, these don't use a lot of electricity, at least not the, not the enders and those. Start making stuff, start messing with things. Have a little oops bin. Each mistake is a learning experience, so don't think of it as something wrong. Think of it as think of it as a lesson. Thank you for watching. If you like what you've seen, hit that like and subscribe button. Hit that notification bell so that way you know when when I post the next one. Um, YouTube here is going to show you the next video it thinks you should watch. Go ahead and hit that. I'm also going to have one that's probably one of mine, just because I'm going to squeeze it in there.